Hey friends, this is Brandon from This Is Tech Today, and we're going to investigate the nature of the audio issues of the Pixel 2 XL. If you're not familiar with the controversy around the audio when you're recording video, it kind of has this distorted kind of digital sound to it. And here's an example. Could you hear the digital artifacts there? It's really bad when there's water or wind or leaves rustling in the background. What we're going to do in this video is compare the audio quality on video on two Pixel 2 XLs, one that is with the November update and then one that's without the November update and see if there's any difference between them. Also, since I still have one, I'm gonna compare the audio quality on video with an original Pixel 2 XL. When I listen to the audio when you're recording video and hear these artifacts there, it sounds like what's called a noise reduction plugin. So like a plugin, think of it as kind of like a little add-on application when you're producing audio or you're editing audio. It's taking care of that in real time and it just happens to be turned up in a really aggressive setting that creates all these artifacts. So the human voice falls primarily in a specific frequency range. So a noise reduction plugin will remove more of the low end of the frequencies and more of the high end of the frequency range so that the mid range is remaining where the human voice is. To prove and show that this is exactly what's happening, I'm going to compare the audio from the two Pixel 2 XLs pre and post update. Uh, and then also this $1,000 Sennheiser microphone. It's a shotgun microphone. It is the industry standard on movie sets, so it's a good mic. And then we'll compare it with the original Pixel XL. And to add the variable that is creating all the sound, I have a fan here. So I hope this one will be a fun one for you and you're going to learn a lot. To give a baseline test, you've been listening to all this originally on the Sennheiser microphone. And then right now, here is the microphone from the pre-update Pixel 2 XL. And this is the microphone right now of the post-November security update. So the only noise that's really going on right now is the fan from my laptop. You might be able to hear it, you might not. But let's turn on the fan. So now that the fan is on, here's the audio from the Sennheiser shotgun microphone. Let's just give it a quick listen without me talking to see what the noise reduction plugin is doing. Now here is the audio from the pre-November update on the Pixel 2 XL. This is uh, with me not talking. Do you hear anything? Any digital artifacts? Now here is the audio from the post-November update Pixel 2 XL. Here's with me not talking. Did you notice anything between the pre and post update? Let's listen to the pre-update real quick. Check one, two. And then the post-update. Check one, two. Did you hear anything? And now we have introduced the original Pixel XL. Here's the audio from the Sennheiser mic. And then now here is the audio from the first gen Pixel XL. Do you hear any artifacts? Now here is the post update Pixel 2 XL audio. Do you hear any artifacts there? And now that the fan is turned off, we're back to just the Sennheiser microphone, the pre-update Pixel 2 XL audio, and then the post-update Pixel 2 XL audio. Let's go back real quick to one of the clips of the Sennheiser microphone without the noise reduction plugin, and we'll be able to compare the audio from before the noise reduction plugin is turned on and then after the noise reduction plugin is turned on. Here is the audio from the Sennheiser shotgun microphone. Let's just give it a quick listen without me talking to see what the noise reduction plugin is doing. Sounds quite similar, right? Now for sure the Final Cut Pro plugin is of a much higher quality than what's found in the Pixel 2 XL, but this should give some reassurance to you. Google has already stated that they have developed a fix for this, and it really is as simple as adjusting the settings of the noise reduction plugin. It shouldn't be too hard. It's purely a software issue. It's not hardware. And here's some audio from a concert. <laughs> So sometimes when you're recording audio with your cell phone, you may want to have a external microphone. So I tested out this microphone when recording video with the stock camera, and for some reason the microphone just doesn't 
work. It's recording audio from the built-in microphones on the phone, not the external microphone. So right now I'm recording audio into an audio recording app and it seems to be working perfectly fine. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but Google should really enable the option of having external microphone when recording video on phones. Because what about vloggers and everyone else who wants to have a higher quality audio when they're filming video? It works perfectly fine on the original Pixel XL, so why not the Pixel 2 XL? If you're looking to improve the quality of your audio recordings, I would suggest two different options, and they're fairly inexpensive. The first one is the one that I have right here. It's the Comica CVM VM10 microphone, and I have a review of that right here. The other microphones I would suggest is the Shure Motive line, and that's actually the application I've been using to record audio from my phone, and they have options for broadcast, podcasting, uh, to performance. They even have a lapel microphone that you can clip onto your shirt. That's really great for voiceovers while you're having an interview, and it goes for $60 or less. The lapel microphone works for both iOS and Android devices, but a lot of the other microphones that they have in their line work just for iPhones. Bummer. So if you're interested in picking up any of those, you can find some links down below in the description. So what do you think? What'd you learn? Did you find this interesting? Go ahead and leave some comments down below, and I'd love to interact with you there. I'm still trying to keep up with all the comments there and I'll try to respond to every single one of you. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to go above and beyond and help this small YouTuber, go ahead and share this. Go ahead and share it on Reddit, share it on Twitter, anywhere else. Thank you once again to all of my new subscribers. I appreciate you being here and feel free to let me know what other videos you'd like me to make. You can also follow me on my social media channels. You'll find some links down there below in the description. Thank you for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time. If you wanted a behind the scenes look at some of the setup for this video, here it is. Using some Sony style batteries to hold up the phone. We have a light right there. Here is the Sennheiser microphone. It is the MKH416 P48. We have Canon T5i right there. With the laptop right there. Another light right there. And a backlight right there. Pretty sweet.